in um, this last one final last one I'm going to show you how you change levels and, and the way we do this is by using uh, we use a thing called a jump menu to do it when you look at your uh, mind map there's um, you'll see there's this next next button attached to it now what that next button is is actually uh, is this guy right here right down the end we've named it um, next now what that is is a logic piece called um, menu jump And um, what you do, see this is just called menu jump. You can call it whatever name that you, you want. So in the scene, we've got one called next and another one called jump menu. Now what happens is um, the player will collide with, with one of these boxes. And um, what it does, it, it follows the path of where the nodes go on so um, where the nodes lead from from these um, jump um, menu menu jumps I should say so we go back in here we can see there's that menu menu jump that's been put in there now and that's our next um, um, box that we we've got at the end so that leads into another it leads into a UI that's normally that's what happens it, it leads into a UI so anything like this but it can also lead into say another world if you wanted it to but um, in our one we just want So you get to this user, it leads you into this um, user interface and the only thing you've got in this user interface is this button called start. And all that is, is a button, a navigation button. So if I drag that in there. and we go outside of it you'll see that that's where that is it's another that means you could click on that button and that would flow to somewhere else you know you could have another flow to another world or or some or somewhere else but in our one we've already got it already linked up and hooked up so we'll just delete this guy we're just using this as a as a demo and we'll come back to this guy we don't need him because we've already got a button in there now starts probably not a good name to to call this button um, because it's really it's going to continue to the next level so there's a continue button here I can see and what we're going to do also is um, add in the, the score under labels <coughs> so we drag that in we'll go um, we want score and we want the current score. And what we are going to do is make a new font as well. And we'll just call this tune font.
Now you just select which one would sh suit your project. I'm just going to try this one. Um, draw gradient is on, so we'll start with, uh, say, yellow. And we'll go to orange. We'll do, um, we'll have a black outline. So, and click that on, stroke. Maybe we need to go up a bit bigger. We've got a font size of 60, which is good. So we've created, just created a new font. So we'll click that. And when you're putting down your labels, you can you can see you can there's the new one there if you want to but we'll leave it at um, the default font because that's the way we've got to set it it's set up in the other one so we'll put in um, a tune tune font one on this one we'll call it school Okay, and what we'll need to do, we'll have to set this up in every single one of them. But before we do that, let's just check. Um, so that was originally our start button, and all we did was change um, the label image to continue. Now the function is default, and what default does is basically passes you on along the along the node. So um, originally it was on the start, so it flows, all it, all it does, you click on the, that button. Let's just, um, let's just call this button um, continue, just not to get things um, too confusing. So now it's called continue so that so it clicks on that it follows that along into the next world. Okay. And you see in the next world there's a you've got another one of those next jump um buttons there. So you need to have it so the player can actually hit it. So we'll just put that one in there. We'll get this guy, I think 0.3 was what we were setting him at. And we'll go to this one, same thing, 0.3. Now, if you haven't got one in the scene, you'll just need to drag and drop him in there. But we have got him in the scene, so that's that's fine. Now, I would grab these over like this and make it thin. Why I'm doing it thin is that so he can move backwards. He doesn't get... He's got a bit of room to see. Um, I think... And what we'll do... So originally we had these set up for a really big long scene, but we'll just um, we'll just deal with um, this to demo the jumping between menus. So this one, this is a another a jump. Not um, where are we? Logic. It's another jump menu button called next. And what we might do is also. We'll put in some coins on each level. So um, under actions, where are we? Coins. And this is just to show up that we've got got a few coins. D to get all those guys. So that's um, 
World 3, just look up the top there to see uh, your World 3 interface. We'll go into World 2. We'll, uh, we'll also add some coins in there. We'll also fix up this, the games frame. Hold shift and drag to keep it uniform. Okay. D to give us a few more. So that's the uh, the third one. Um, that's the World 2 set up now. Ready to jump. Obviously, um, you would put um, some sort of object over the top of that to indicate, well, this is an exit point, this is the final point. Because when you these are invisible when you're playing the game. Okay, so we'll go back to the... So there, these are all hooked up. Although it, there is, there's not, it, this isn't hooked up here, so um, we'll have to, you'll either start creating more worlds as you go along, and as you do, you would just basically duplicate what you've got here, copy it down, and link them all up the same way. Each one of these UIs link to the world UI. I think new world, yeah. So each each um, new world you create will have a UI button, and you would link that up to, you know, the the world UI. So that get overlays the score and everything. And say so you would probably link uh, and then link up your load into that. So you just keep doing that as you go along. So for now. We'll just delete that. We'll go into world one. We don't feel like going through all the whole gameplay because you know how bad I am with my game. I'm I'm a shocker. And we'll we'll have some coins there for him to pick up as well. Okay, that's our guy there. This is where he'll start in the level, so we'll just play. Start the game. Now your score will go up, 10. And then it'll hit the invisible box. Right, so obviously something's gone wrong with the, um, the score. The score was set wrong. But and the basic working of it is working quite good. And that's when we get to that end one where it's not linked up to anything. So it's just stopped there. So okay, let's go back and troubleshoot um what's going on in the um, mind map and that was in the, the first world um, so what have we got so straight away that's not set to the right one so we've got to set that to coins um, yeah current so that that so next time you jump into there it should be fine and um, let's check all the other one. Um, let's um, change the interface on the other ones as well. Start where? Where are we? Change it to continue. We'll just drag. Uh, and we'll go. Um, no, we'll leave it at the default one. And we'll just say score, we'll go um, coins again, current, 
so we'll just put that there just to speed this up a bit I'm sure you guys are getting bored out of your brain by now this one will change to the continue again oh we could rename them but we know what they are that's um we'll drag another label in we'll go score coins and current and remember how we went got to the the last one and it just stuck there well that's because it wasn't linked to anywhere else so what I would do probably is go right back to the start and just start it again if you got other levels that's where you would just probably copy this down rename it to world 4 and UI um, world um, 4 as well and then you would just link um, link that into the load of your world 4 and make sure you link all your UIs to your world UI of new worlds so we should test this out now and hopefully everything is working so we'll just press play start we're at 40 good that's changed to the 40 now score we continue we go into the the next level we're at 80 we'll go to our final level which is on three the score still at 80 so 150 and this is where we got stuck last time hopefully this will when we click on this it'll restart the game all over again and you still should have uh, 150 I think on your score yes we're back Oh, 110. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's done that. But you get the you get the point. It just loops around following those nodes. Okay, so that's the the basics basics of it I'm just checking to see if I can find where that mistake is current yeah they're all they seem to be all fine these I'm not real sure coins current or oh. <clears throat> but anyway that um that concludes the this tutorial series I know I'm not the greatest teacher in the world and it's very basic for just beginners it's sort of like a monkey see monkey do tutorial but there should be enough knowledge there to for you to make a reasonably good um, platformer and um, I might add, I might do a few more tutorials to add on um to to help spice it up a bit more a few more difficult things to put in there and um thanks for watching and i'll see you around